Brain Pay here. This video is going to be on the club head or the center of mass, also known as the balance point. If I find the balance point, where does that club balance on my finger? You can see it's closer to the club head than it is to the grip. This is going to be the point that the golf club is going to run and rotate about itself throughout the golf swing. So I took a golf club here tape the ball to kind of show you where the balance point is going to be. The center of mass is actually below that point, somewhere between the club head and the grip right there. So if I went to set up, what I like to see is that that balance point or the club head stays just slightly outside the hands on the takeaway. You'll notice I put a shaft here in the ground that's on the same line angle as my 7 iron. What I see a lot is players will take the club club too far inside, the club get, head gets too far behind them. From there, as they go up, the club is too shallow on the backswing, which means it's pointing outside the golf ball. And then it wants to stand up in transition and then come over the top to the left. If we can get this golf club and the backswing staying outside the hands as we rotate the body, halfway back when my arms parallel to the ground, you'll notice that the golf club is more vertical in the lie angle at setup. This would be matching that angle. This would be too flat. This would be pointing somewhere in between the golf ball and my toe line. So as we rotate on the way back, the club's going to stay outside the hands slightly. Keep rotating. Now the center mass or the club head is more on top of my hand into the top of the swing. From here as we transition, now it has a place for it to go behind us on the downswing and become shallower angle than that alignment rod. If the golf club gets pulled in too fast, the motion or the momentum is going to want to carry it steeper on the way down. So if you're working in the mirror or on your camera, Take a look, where's the club head going? Is it outside your hands? Or is it inside your hands at shaft parallel to the ground? If it gets too far inside, there might be too much forearm roll. So feel the arms are more passive as the body is turning to get this club head more on top of the hands. From there in transition, it has a place to go and hit stronger golf shots. So take a look at the club head in your golf swing, see what it's doing, and use this information to hit stronger shots. Is it too far inside, or could it be a little bit too far outside? It's okay to play with the golf club that's a little bit too far outside than one that gets too far inside.